Many have asked me, I am not able to clear the interview. I have given multiple interviews but not able to clear. So I felt I have to do something for the candidates who are trying for interviews and are not able to clear. So I felt what is necessity at this moment is doing more practicals and gain more practical knowledge. So that's why I have created this series practicals for interview and I'm going to post basic to advanced exercises which is going to definitely help you to build your practical knowledge around this topic. And I hope you, can, you will do definitely better by going through the entire series of exercises that I'm going to post on my channel. So with that, let's start with the very basic exercise number one for this video. So today our exercise is using arguments find sum of two numbers okay so sum of two numbers is quite easy but using arguments you have to do it so let's read it your main workflow should ask user to provide two numbers okay however you cannot sum those numbers in the main workflow so this is the condition you cannot sum those numbers in the main workflow okay so how you can use arguments in this scenario? So the question is how you can use arguments in this scenario. Okay. So give, give it a pause. Understand the questions completely. And then we will move on. Okay. So if you, you can pause the video and do it on your own. So that is my you know, intention. You can pause it. You don't have to really watch the entire video. Pause it. Do it on your own. And if you could do it, just comment in the comment box, just comment. Yes, you have completed. Okay, very good. Then I'll be more happy. Also, you can later you can watch how I have done it. Is it is it something you have done it better or some other new ideas that you have? You have done it in a different way. Please let me know. Even I have to learn from you. Otherwise, if it matches with the way I have done, it's very good. Okay, so let's start. So for this, let's go to the UiPath Studio. So we have understood the question let's start designing it so the condition is you cannot do a sum inside the main workflow so all i can do is i can ask the user what are those numbers so let me first design the main workflow input dialog box and here i'll give a title sum of two numbers and here i'll ask Okay, I'm asking enter your first number done. So let me copy this paste it again and here I'm going to ask the second number sum of two numbers, right? Okay, done. Now what I need, I need to create a variable. So control plus K and I will say first num or first number. And for the second input dialog box, let me create another variable control plus K and I will say second num. Okay, so these are the two variables which is going to store my numbers and let me make it the variable type to integer. Done? Okay. Now the condition here is I cannot do a sum in the main workflow. This is the main. So if you go to the project, you have main.xml. So you cannot do the sum. So that means it's telling you to create a new sequence. Okay, click on new sequence. And here I am creating a separate XML file, sum of two numbers. Okay, and I'm clicking on create. So by that, what would happen? Look at the project. If you click on the project, you will see there is a new XML file got created. Okay, sum of two numbers dot XML. Okay, now inside this, let's let me design. Click on activities and let me use a assign activity so what i want to do is i want to do the sum over here so let's say let me create three different arguments so here it is asking you have to use arguments how you can use arguments that is the scenario okay so to create arguments you can do control plus m set argument and let me create a simple argument called a similar way you can also go to the either you do control plus m and create it or you go to the arguments Okay, so go to the arguments here also you can create you can click on create argument Let me create another argument called B and the third argument. Let me create a C Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is in the assign activity I will use B 
plus C. So these are the three different arguments I have created for the moment. Let's click on the arguments. So the B and C will get the input from the main. Okay, so this should be in and in and A should be out. So the, whatever number is coming, it should pass it to the main.xml. So it will do the sum over here and it should pass. So that's all. So in the main sequence, in the sum of two number sequence, in the second sequence, all I'm doing is setting the arguments a b c what kind of direction so this are two in this is out that means it is going to send the value out this means b and c requires a input data so it is in okay that's all i have done okay so once you do this remember once the arguments are created you should save it if you do not save it there will be a problem okay so for the moment i am not intentionally not saving it okay but you should click on save all the time so let me not save it for the moment let me go to the main.xml here in the main.xml, I will use something called invoke workflow file. Remember, there are so many activities. Invoke workflow is also there. So ensure it is invoke workflow file. Okay. And then I am going to call this sum of two numbers. So I will click on this and click on sum of two numbers. That XML file. Okay. I am just calling that XML file. So that the sum will not happen in the main, but it will happen in the separate XML file okay the addition is happening in the separate xml file okay now if you click on import arguments what is happening none of the arguments has appeared over here do you see now tell me why it is not happening reason being the separate xml file that you have created that you have to save it getting it if this is a problem for you in the invoke workflow file remember to save that xml file where you have created the arguments okay now go to the main now click on import arguments is it bringing a b c all, all of them has that come all of them it has come right okay there's one more problem what is the type type string so let me go back to the sum of two numbers and here let me change the argument type to integer because we will be dealing with integer data is it clear until now okay wonderful and save it remember to save it now go to the main.xml Click on import again. You will find all of the data has been updated properly. Fine. Now what I want B. For B let me provide the first number. So first input that data will pass whatever value is there that will pass in right. So it will go to this B. In similar way the second num number variable that is going to pass its value whatever the user is entering will come to second num and this value will pass to c argument getting it so arguments are nothing but your variables but it is used in a invoke workflow file activity so we can you know you don't have to execute something inside your main you want to execute it separately and several times in your main so you can call it several times in your main.xml okay now what i'm going to do a a whatever the sum is going to happen let's say 10 and 20 30 so that value is going to go to a another variable so let me create a variable here control plus k and i'm going to create a variable called output okay and click on all right now the moment you created the variable called output in your main.xml ensure it is in 32 okay it's in 32 automatically okay it has taken automatically uh, the data type in 32 so it is, it is automatically taking the data type wonderful so you have, you have created this now the last thing what you want to do okay so you want to see that right you want to see the value or see the output so let me simply say output. done so my exercise is complete so let me run it i am running from the main.xml you can either do either ways so okay let's wait okay so the execution has started it's asking me the first number let's say i'm entering the first number as 100 enter the second number let's say i'm entering 200 is the second number so what is happening after taking this data it will go to this xml file and do the sum over there and the output will appear over here okay so now i clicked on 200 so the output has appeared in our main.xml but the sum is happening in a separate xml file is it clear so this gives you a basic and very important concept about arguments so if you have done this exercise 
any questions asked around the arguments or the variables i think you are in a better place now to answer all those questions in your interview so when they are asking this basic questions if you are not able to answer then and there you are giving them a red signal that you are not clear about your basics right so your interview has already taken a wrong turn so ensure you have this we should not ignore the basic knowledge the basic knowledge the fundamental knowledge is very very important in an interview right so when i'm asking a question if you're answering in a right way then i get confidence okay you know let me go ahead and ask a little more complex question okay i hope this practical series is going to bring you a lot of knowledge practically and it will build you strong for the interview and you should be able to clear it and i will love to hear many has commented they have got a job i am very happy for them and i would also like you to get a job if you are looking for and do comment that how our channel helped you to find a job thank you so much guys with this we will come up with the new video which is going to continue in this practical exercise series and i'm going to bring it more and more knowledgeable exercises thank you guys you guys have a good day and please do comment if you have completed it simply say yes simply type yes thank you guys have a great day bye bye